Well, as the uh, kids go back to school, it's a, a different time. I think it's going to be more of a hybrid model uh, with the pandemic going on. So uh, there will be some in-class uh, learning and there'll be a lot of at-home learning as well. So we want to talk about some of the hardware choices when it comes to laptop, Chromebook, Mac, Windows, uh, or tablets. Are you a little bit afraid of me teaching my daughter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one. I am. I'm freaking out. Well, luckily there's a lot of educational tools. So uh, I think the important uh, part is that, you know, all these school districts have different types of platforms uh, that they're going to have the kids on. So we're not going to really delve into that. Uh, and also, uh, you know, there's going to be the whole video conferencing aspect. And I think that's going to be an important part of the type of device that you're you're actually choosing. You gotta have something that's powerful enough to have some decent video. Yeah, and you know, those cameras make a big difference because the quality of camera that they put into different devices does differ. And I can tell you from experience that if you're having trouble doing video in that environment, it really puts a strain on the learning environment. Like if you can't actually have a solid conversation or audio is dropping out or video is dropping out, it really makes it different. Yeah, so when you're choosing your device, I mean, there's a lot of low cost devices out there, like really cheap Chromebooks and tablets, but you have to make sure that uh, it has enough power, not only to do the schoolwork, but that it can do the, the video conferencing. So let's start with Chromebooks. Those are a really popular choice right now. A lot of school uh, districts are actually kind of mandating them as the device of uh, choice. And they really range in price, like from like $180 up like to a thousand dollars and that's what I like is the fact that there are inexpensive so all families have access to this platform and it enable to uh, that gives them the ability to participate in this online learning uh, there they can be like I said as little as like over $150 so the thing to look for again power is kind of important I would make sure that it is powerful enough to actually do the work Chromebooks typically are running the Chrome OS right so everything's kind of done through a browser you will be able to do word processing and spreadsheets and, and things like that is it Going to be great for uh, 3D animation and high-end graphics? No, but for uh, you know a low-cost device to get the schoolwork done, definitely something to look at. And I think you want to think about the age of your child and kind of what they're getting into because Mike makes a great point. You know, if the device is really to participate in that classroom environment and work on sort of basic type programs like math and science and reading and these kinds of things, Chromebook can handle most of that stuff. But if in their spare time they have a, a passion for another something else like maybe design or gaming, yep. that that Chromebook isn't going to work and now you're going to end up with a second device in the home. Might not be a bad idea, but now you're spending a lot of money on equipment. So you might think you're saving money, but you might end up spending spending more. Then I guess another leap would be tablets. Uh, and there are a lot of choices. Obviously on the Apple side, there's the iPad and iPad Pro line. On the Android side, there's so many different manufacturers. It's all over the place. Uh, I personally kind of like the iPad uh, line, especially the new iPad and the iPad Pros because they've got the magnetic uh, s uh, keyboard smart connectors there. So it just basically kind of clicks right onto the tablet itself. And if you even look at the entry level iPad right now, yep. I mean, it's up there. I think it's several hundred dollars and then the keyboard's another 150. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can get the keyboard. You can also get an Apple Pencil uh, and it's super versatile and super light as well. The processor in them, uh, they're fantastic. They're more powerful than a lot of the laptops out there. Well, and this is the thing, if you if you have the budget, there's a reason to go for this because you're really not overspending. Uh, the one thing I have a, that, that I like about it is when you have a powerful computer, it sort of can power through a lot of the problems. When you have a, a computer that's not as powerful, you can get glitchy things happen and there's nothing more frustrating, especially if you're not into technology like we are, uh, trying to figure out how to make that work or why it's letting you down. So the, the, the truth is, is if you invest in that powerful process, Processor like would be in an iPad, you're probably not going to see many problems. Things are always going to work really well. I talked about that smart connector. It's like a magnetic connector for that uh, Apple keyboard. Mm. I think that's important too because pretty well most of these tablets, they've got Bluetooth wireless capability. So you can hook up like a, a wireless keyboard. I think just from a, a technical support aspect, uh, something that actually kind of connects directly to it is going to be a lot better. You're not going to have to worry about the keyboard not connecting or running out of charge, all that kind of kind of thing. So I think most of the um, the Android tablets out there are typically, uh, you know, have the, the Bluetooth uh, wireless keyboard. So mm -hmm. again, it's just a, a tech support issue thing. I would kind of veer more to the uh, Apple uh, iPad. And again, with the new version of the iPad and the iPad Pros, you can also get the Apple Pencil for it, which is fantastic. They can take notes with that and it's like a great artistic tool as well. But don't be discouraged if your budget isn't getting you into the Apple products. The Chromebooks uh, and the Chrome tablets 
are affordable and they are going to handle all of these applications that we're talking about in terms of that digital classroom, whether it's Microsoft Teams, you know, using the Zoom application, uh, Google Classroom, things like that. This Google, the Google Chromebooks will um, work in those environments. So next up, obviously, uh, full-powered laptops. Mm -hmm. So Windows-based and Mac-based. Yep. Uh, on the Mac side, you're going to be paying a premium. Yep. I mean, you're starting at about a thousand bucks for an entry-level MacBook uh, Air on on that. So they're fantastic. Yeah. You know, I mean, if your family's in the Apple world, it's a great tool. It's going to be powerful enough, obviously, to do all the schoolwork and any other type of capabilities, some light gaming uh, on it, and also any artistic kind of photography or graphics uh, as well. Absolutely. And then if you go outside of the Apple realm and you're going to go to the Windows based PC, boy there's a lot to choose from. I mean that's one of the markets where it's kind of confusing almost. It's a bit confusing because all the different manufacturers actually license the software from Microsoft to put it on their platform whereas Apple keeps everything in their own ecosystem. So you can't go buy another manufacturer using the Apple uh, software. So you know in that world boy there's a lot to choose from. Uh, I think the best thing you can do is just sort of look to compare the specs. You want to compare the processor, you want to look at the size of the hard drive, you, know, you want to make sure that you know what your kids are going to be working on and that you have the right power to help them through the applications they're going to have. You talked about some of the specs there. Um, you know, obviously look for the fastest processor that you can uh, afford. Uh, you know, with the Intel uh, processors, uh, Apple's still kind of using them. They are transitioning to their own uh, chips, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, i5s, Intel i5s, Kind of that's at the lower end of the spectrum. I would look at i7s if you can uh, afford them. Uh, get as much RAM, the memory, as, as much RAM as you can get because that's going to help speed up the programs that you're running. Storage is kind of a, a tricky thing right now, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the storage is happening in the cloud. If you look at the Chromebooks and the Chrome tablets and that, they don't really come with hardly any storage, uh, just some basic storage on the device itself. Everything, your documents, your photos, everything are stored in a, a cloud account. Yeah. Even with uh, Apple, uh, you know, the iPads, uh, you can get different memory configurations, but most of the stuff you're going to store up in the cloud. Yeah, the reality is these days that as long as you have access to Wi-Fi and you have access to Wi-Fi almost anywhere that you are, you're going to be able to get your information which is being stored, as Mike said, in the cloud. I do like to have some storage on the device though because there's going to be some instances where you want to have uh, offline access, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to worry about finding an internet connection to get at your documents. You want to be able to have those synced up to the, uh, the device uh, itself. So, uh, in the whole device category, you know, budget-wise, Chromebooks, no question. You can get cheap Windows laptops as well for a few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, but be careful, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember in the old days we used to buy cheap laptops for our work? Uh, they didn't last that long. No, we cycled through them quickly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I find when you do spend a little extra money on it, you get a few more years life out of it. So, you again get what you pay for on that. So uh, back to school means looking at these devices, Chromebooks and some of these tablets on the uh, the lower end of the budget range. Uh, and again, if you want some more versatility, uh, the Mac, the MacBooks and, and what have you are, are definitely something to look at as well.